Okay, some frequently asked questions. Number one, dapat ba magaling sa programming or sa tech in general para maging lead? Or dapat ba tech related ang course na kinukuha ko para maging lead? No, any course can do. So sa batch namin, may nasa engineering course. And as for programming, you should have a technical understanding of computer programming and or software engineering. Basta marunong ka, okay na yun. May bayad ba ang pag-apply? Wala, everything is for free. Ate Darla, di naman ako marunong ng mga event planning na yan, mga paggawa ng posters or social media posts, o kaya pag-host. Pwede pa rin ba akong mag-lead? Yes, basta passionate ka in creating impact in your community and willing ka magka-experience with event planning or leading a team. So you have your officers naman with you and then magtutulungan din kayo mga co-GDSC leads nyo kaya don't worry about it. And also, Google will provide you some branding kits and guidelines. So bibigyan ka lang ng mga fonts to use, uh, posters that you can use, mga designs to use. An example of this is... This one. Ayan, so hindi kami nag-design ito. Yung Google nag-provide nito and then in-edit lang namin. Paano pag wala naman ako maisip na event na gagawin sa university ko? So don't worry about that. Google will provide a list of events that you can conduct at your university. And then kasama na sa listahan na yun yung mga posters that you can use, mga materials na kailangan nyo, o kaya ilang participants ba ang recommended sa event na yun. An example of that is study champs. And you can also collaborate with other GDSC chapters para din may event ang university nyo. So ang ginawa namin sa batch ko, nagkaroon kami ng Flutter Fest, nagkaroon din kami ng Press Play Hack Fest, as well as yung Explore, Exceed, and Excel. Yan, so kami-kami mga GDSC chapters yan from all around the Philippines. And then also, ang ginagawa ng iba, for example, sa batch namin, if I'm not mistaken, may lahat ng... GDSC chapter sa Mindanao not collaborate for an event para sa mga Mindanao students, mga ganun. So, kayang-kaya nyo or pwedeng-pwede nyo gawin yun. And then, as for speakers naman, for example, gusto nyo mag-conduct ng Android Study Jam or ng Android event, meron tayong tinatawag na Google Developers at meron tayong directory. So, nandun yung mga professionals. Pwede kayo mag-search yung kunwari Android and nilalabas yung mga Google Developers na pwede nyo i-invite. If I start a GDSC chapter at my university, do I have to get it accredited? So, sa university, may kanya-kanyang set of rules kung paano magtayo ng isang student organization. Pwede namang standalone or yun nga as in accredited yung GDSC chapter nyo as long as makompete nyo yung process or protocol ng university nyo. Or, yung GDSC chapter, pwede rin maging sub-org. So, for example, if meron kayong JPCS na org sa university nyo, pwede, nyo kayong, pwede kayong mag-collaborate and then going sub-org ang GDSC. So, JPCS and then GDSC. I suggest that you follow kung anong rules ng university mo. So, for example, sa GDSC chapter ko last year, sa FEU kasi, ang mga officers dapat, ang tawag sa kanila, for example, President, Vice President, Secretary, PRO. Pero sa ibang university, ang tawag sa officers ay, for example, CEO, CFO, CMO. So, kanya-kanyang gawa ng bylaws and constitution based sa protocol ng university mo. And pag kailangan mo naman ng help during the accreditation, maibibigay na email ang Google mismo na uh, parang listahan na ito yung mga accredited na GDSC chapters at GDSC leads for the year. So, sana makatulong yun. Now, let's meet the current leads and see how they did sa application process. Ms. Lee, Darla, alam mo, hindi yung interview or yung submission ng video and application yung biggest challenge na finished ko. Para sa akin, biggest na challenge na na-face ko is yung courage ko. Lakas ng loob ko na to run as the next GDSC lead knowing na I'm not that familiar na sa mga uh, pagiging leader or pagiging lead ng isang organization. Na-overcome ko siya in a way na yung una yung support mo as the previous lead ng GDSC then yung support ng uh, friends ko na giving them uh, giving sila ng assurance na even for a long time, hindi ako naging lead, na kaya ko pa rin at some point na maging lead ng isang organization. Kasi alam mo, Darla, ang organization, hindi lang naman president yung nag-run yan eh. And alam mo yon na 
hindi lang naman isang tao yung bumubuo ng organization. So yun, as throughout the application, I trusted na yung mga upcoming pong co-officers as the co-officers ng GDSC. Matutulungan nila ako at some point, ay eh, matutulungan ko rin sila. Kasi basically, yung organization hindi lang yun tumatayo ng ikaw lang. Eh. Hindi yan may tatagulid ng ikaw lang. You have to believe in your co-officers and saka kaya ng mga officers mo. Uh, sa soft skills, yung, ano nga, yung communication skills, then yung uh, especially additional dun yung mindset mo. Since dapat uh, isettle mo yung ano mo na maganda to, kaya natin gawin to, gagawin natin. Then another one siguro yung time management. Kahit saan naman or mahirap mag-balance ng being a lead or a student leader to being a student, especially sa kagaya ko na fourth year student na I'm graduating. I guess uh, it it felt something that ano, parang I know, I had to do or like parang it's uh it's a thing that ano, that I would say defines me as me then. Because uh, I would say that even though it's very you know like challenging or there's different um let's say parang struggles that ano, come along with it um or uncertainties as well. Uh, I find being a leader very fulfilling because uh, it does not only um parang benefit me help me grow but. It, I can also see how it also help other people grow them and then and all and then I guess um being like focusing more on GDSC like why GDSC um so I would say that uh in GDSC uh Loyola my chapter um it was the parang the club that helped me learn that ignited I guess my passion for UI UX which, which is something that I continue to like um parang work on my, especially in my career right now after being the design lead for like a year ano oh I I actually discerned and decided to become the lead naman of ano oh the chapter and um from there what really pushed my decision was that you know I want to give the same parang opportunities then to people who are like me you know people who you know um are interested in you know Um, parang furthering their skills in technology or not even not only like technically the technical stuff but also like you know in terms of like understanding what the the tech eco- ecosystem is like the Google technologies mga gan. it's not all about the code the technicalities but it's really about the people and the skills that you're able to learn surrounding like that industry and that field then and when you talk about developing I know um, th- sorry developing it's it's really um not just the product but you're also developing um people then it's actually quite an honor then na uh, you know um with me being in this position it made me the first ano uh, woman lead of my chapter so it's great to see ano uh, like parang women in tech then and, and all of that ah uh, yeah so the accreditation process it really depends on the university you're in but usually it's a very lengthy process eh? so look at GDSC UE and PUP main so Both organizations just got accredited this April lang. So, uh, the requirements naman are usually just agreements between you and the university and yun niya, yung, yung mga proposed programs and your list of officers. If your institution requires additional files, you can just ask yung ating program manager, si Ms. Ni Nguyen or si Ms. Jenny Stan, and they'll support you naman. When you have any concerns about your accreditation files. Ayan, thank you so much, Ashley, Cyrus, and Roy, for your experience in the application process. In terms of advice, Muna, what me and my EB did naman was that we found a a moderator, like one of our teachers, na who was very ano, parang well-rounded with ano technology, who knows a lot about like parang human computer interaction and. Someone who we can trust, like you know, for advice and everything like that. Before the school year ends, or like before the next school year starts, we hold, you know, um, applications for the next executive board, um, and then so this is like the people managing the different departments, and then the CEO then. Because I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, the GDSC lead for other chapters, parang is also their CEO, ganon. But for our chapter, naman, what we did is that we split the, you know, responsibility. So. The lead naman is doing more of the external work, and then while the CEO is doing more of the internal work, period, we do things together. One thing that I did as you know, as a lead, like as the current lead, was that I 
made sure to ano parang have like different getting to know sessions before we do like the the formal work no of like ano um of um what do you call it the parang setting up the org planning events and everything like that the heart of GDSC talaga is the people talaga and everything like ano so gotta make sure everybody's okay and um I guess to also help out with the planning we have like our own notion Discord and all of that first we have our parang main group Facebook group page so we get to post all of like the different ano parang announce to our members and then we also have our Facebook page na public where we get to parang share to like the bigger audience a broader audience and all of that and then I think there's a new feature in Facebook na when you create a group you can create a chat for that group so we utilize that then to like parang bump or to ano parang set out important announcements and all of that so when I'm gonna why is when I got that email of course you yeah celebration and then so after celebrating and uh, then ako nag doon na binuo yung aking team so i started with uh with the people i am most comfortable working with sila yung aking executive team so y- yung executive team can consist of your CTO your COO or your or uh C- CCO so pwede pwede ka rin magkaroon ng uh, chief financial officer or CFO pero it depends on uh one in each organization mo then after that uh yun na yun na yung advisor ayun yung pinakakailangan mo when uh buka ng katong passing org because your your advisor knows the ins and outs of the university no so some of the process kaya pwede ka rin pwede ka rin tulungan ng advisor mo in uh sa paglakad ng mga files and after that uh in my term medyo mahirap yung uh mga credit so hindi siya possible around uh yung around the first sem so that would be August to December but possible na naman yung accreditation namin for the sec- for the second sem so that would be January to May so ayun uh na credit kami uh, around April so so J- January to March or uh, inatsikaso na namin yung mga files namin and then boom ano na yung GDSUE Ayan, so yan yung mga advice ng ating current leads about the whole journey. So napakaswerte ng succeeding batch namin kasi sila na yung naka-experience ng face-to-face events. So Ashley, Cyrus, and Roy, kamusta ba ang GDS lead face-to-face setup? For number one, I do my best not to micromanage kasi um, everybody has their own strengths diba? and their own responsibilities. And what I would do as a lead is that I'll make sure that you know um each department is able to do like parang their set of responsibilities like um and then I'll set, I'll set a deadline yes another problem that we would parang face is like you know getting sponsors and then processing all these documents and all of that so the way we would you know parang handle this is that we try to um prioritize what's the most important thing to do and then if we have to go the extra mile to do something we would you know do our best to do that then and then when it comes to Let's say planning a certain event and everything like that. Um, if it's an old event, usually we have like an our old parang storage or our old files na set there, and then we'll just like improve on that. Yes, when it regards to our speakers, naman. Um, this year we I tried something different, and that is ano I filled out this form given by Google, ano, uh, and then I um requested for like Google ex- experts who are like interested in um participating in our um, event and then parang everything ma- it's like parang we matched on each other na this is like, like this is my event this, these are the people who I'm looking for to speak in my event and then for in Google side naman the Google expert side um they ano parang give their ano um credentials or like what are they looking for to like speak in and everything like that and i would say that the online ano space or like the online events are much easier in terms of logistics kasi the it's just ano you send the link you prepare the zoom background you invite the speakers and then you just parang organize the ano the times and everything like that pero i think what like a con for that would be is that you don't get to have like that ano parang rich interaction that you'd have with the no a face to face um setup the man and so with the face to face setup speaking of that um uh i guess in terms of cons uh, or like parang the hardships of it is that you really have to you know 
go around a lot. You have to think about the logistics. You, and then parang the budget is much bigger here because you have to like spend more in terms of making it a much very like to make a parang to really deliver for that event in that sense and all and um and then being able to experience like having two on-site events in uh, no, for GDSC in Ateneo it was very uh, no, fulfilling naman kasi you know it was really great seeing like you know, actual people you know interacting with them and all of that but I guess it can be a bit taxing then with you know parang to uh, have like a whole day event and everything like that so, pero I think at the end of the day, it's very fulfilling naman. Pero I think what we did to also accommodate like the people who couldn't go is that we, ano, parang offered, um, like, to, to like, parang we live streamed the event or like we would offer parang two types of, ano, ways to um, experience the event. Whether it's online with the workshop or like online watching the live stream, mga ganun, or having like an on-site workshop or an on-site event, ganun. Of course, uh, we will first reach out dun sa through email of course siyempre mag-aano sila yung mag-dispute sila kuwari uh, sino yung mga pinaka uh, kasi yung mga ganong klaseng uh, uh, nationwide events yung, pinak- yung pinaka nag-initiate yung pinaka-active na chapter so kung sino yung pinaka-active na chapter sa inyo uh, most likely sila yung mag-initiate ng ganong klaseng events pero of course look out for those kinds of uh for those kinds of emails or for those kinds of you know pag reach out then uh tanungin nyo kung ano yung matutulong ng chapter nyo dun sa nationwide event na yun kung ano yung pwede nyo contribute kasi logistics uh pubmats or uh pwede din partnerships with other uh organizations or corporates and yun Ayan, so thank you so much guys. I hope makakatulong niya sa next batch of GDSC lead. Kasi of course, we all wish na face-to-face setup din ang succeeding batch nila. So, Ashley, Roy, and Cyrus, ano ba ang iyong last word? Ang pinaka-short advice ko is enjoy lang nila being a lead. Then, uh, trust nila yung officers nila. Kasi, I mean, like, mahirap magganap naman talaga ng co-officers. But, alam mo yun, once naman makahanap ka naman, you have to trust sa kanila since sila din yung tutulong sa'yo. Ang dami nga nagsasabi na once na fourth year ka, medyo mahirap since internship, thesis, ganito ganyan. Pero what? Na-survive naman. So, ibig sabihin, kaya. Whether you've been in the, ano, the club for like how long or if you want to parang start your own club in your own, ano, like your own chapter in your own university, um, I hope that, you know, um, you take this opportunity kasi um, it's a very fulfilling one. You really get to feel the, ano, parang the sense of community, and then this is not only like limited to just you know the four walls of the school or like within your school lang. But uh, these uh, opportunities that you get to give to your members and yet you get you get to also experience yourself is something that would ano, I guess in a way like la- last you a lifetime talaga. Because uh, um you learn these like skills that are ano, you get to apply them not only in the tech industry or like in the in a club ganun. you get to apply them in the different areas of your life then you'll really do so much talaga and i hope that you take this opportunity and you know um redefine what it means to be a developer <laughs> yes <laughs> so to the next batch of leads uh, my advice is to make the most out of this experience so you can only be a lead once of course yes you can still be a part of the support system of gdsc but the benefits of being a lead like the connection swags and the learnings of being a leader, you only have less than a year for that. So, uh, my second advice, don't be afraid to ask for help. We, the former leads, ako, yan si Darla, we will be very happy to support you on your journey. And, uh, of course, my last advice, uh, don't forget to take a rest. And yeah, that's it. Alright, thank you so much, Roy, Ashley, and Cyrus for joining me in this video. I had so much fun. I'm so happy that I got to talk to you guys. And, Sa batch 2022-2023, congratulations! I'm so proud of you. I can see that you guys did so well sa term ninyo. So, woo!